MCP server and MCP client is already added in NA10. Let me show you quickly how we can make use of it. So I'll go to na10.simplex.com and you need to make sure that you update the latest version. This is not available in the older version. So I'll be going back here to the admin panel, go to settings and I will update it to 1.88.0 which is the latest release and save the changes. And I'll just wait for it. Workspace is now available. So I'll just go back here. And if I show you here about 1.88.0, make sure that you have the latest version. I'll be first of all creating a workflow and I will add a trigger node here, which will be MCP server. So I will choose MCP. You can see here MCP server trigger node. So now this MCP server trigger node can be used by any external MCP client. So the MCP client can be any workflow within the NA10 also, and it can be in any other NA10 instance. So for example, I will give it a name, tutorial MCP server. So this is your URL. And here I can attach any tool that can be used by this particular server. It could be your calendar tool, for example. It could be any tool, of course, once you connect with your credentials. It could be, for example, calculator tool. It could be even any other workflow also. N number of tools can be added here. Now, for example, if I stick to only one tool for the time being, just for the sake of this tutorial, of course, as I mentioned, you can connect any tool with this. Right now, uh, even you can connect the HTTP request tool, you can uh, connect with the Pinecone vector store, you can connect with the QRant, n number of tools are available. So then this MCP server will be giving response back from the tools which are connected to it. All right, so I will be giving it a name, MCP server tutorial. This is the first workflow that I have created. I will be now creating MCP client as well. To create any workflow, I will give it a name. For example, MCP client. So what I'm going to do here, I will create a chat trigger, for example. And with this chat trigger, I will be connecting an AI agent. And with this AI agent, of course, I can connect the chat model first. And that chat model could be, for example, Google Gemini. And here now I'll be connecting that tool as MCP client. Now, once you have connected MCP client, you have to provide the SSE endpoint. This could be any endpoint, not necessary of your current instance. It could be any external instance also. Suppose this is external instance. So I will just take this and I will just activate it, for example, for the time being, just to make sure that it works. Double click this and take the production URL, copy this. And then I will be going back to MCP client and MCP client, I will be adding this here. Now we did not add any authentication, so it will work without authentication and I'll save the changes. So what tools MCP client should respond from? If I don't choose any specific tool, it will respond from all the tools. For example, if you have connected calendar, docs, sheets, tables, etc., there might be hundreds of tools connected to this particular MCP server. So you want to give in this particular, for example, client, you want to get response only from one tool or multiple. So I will just double click this. I will choose tools. I will say select it. And then I will choose from here tools. You can see here only one tool which is available here. That tool will be available here. Now, how it will work? I will start chatting with the AI agent. It could be, of course, any scenario, but just to make it simple, I will say, calculate 43 plus 567. Enter. It should definitely go and ask from the MCP client. You can see here, it has given the response and MCP client has the calculator tool. Now let us see if MCP server has given the response. I will go back to MCP server. I will click on executions. You can see here one execution was there. So I will just go to calculator. You can see here 610 was the response that was given by the calculator tool and query was 43 plus 567. 
So this is how the MCP server has given the response and MCP client has asked for the question. Now, this is only simple example to make sure that you understand how the MCP server works and how the MCP client works. So you can unlock various things with this. With MCP, you can, of course, define n number of tools. You can connect with anything, any server, any application. For example, if I show you with MCP server now, how the possibilities are there. You can connect the Airtable, for example. MCP client tool. Now, this MCP client tool can again be connected to server. So you can see here there are limitless possibilities. So you are not getting the response from one single server. So your MCP client or your AI agent now has access to an entire new landscape of tools and to different servers that are serving different services. So you can understand now the logic behind having the MCP tool, MCP client and MCP server. And now AI agent is not limited to the tools which are provided here. It can be connected to any external NADN instance. Possibilities are limitless. So I'll be adding more videos where I'll be showing you the scenario, but I wanted to make sure that you understand and how MCP client can be used. Let's continue to next video now.